Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I decided to take a trip back to the Family Dollar to see how many of the starts I could purchase this time around after I had already gotten a few, but I decided to go back and get some more because that was a really good deal, and I was thinking I should have gotten more the first time that I was there. So I decided to go back and see if they had any. Yeah, I left y'all some. So I ended up getting two more of the onions. So that's gonna be 160 onions. Three of the asparagus. And the last time, I just wanted to make sure, because these are the Mary Washington, and I wanted to make sure that it did say that there were two in here, but you remember when I planted the other one, there ended up being three in each one. So um, if there is three in here, that means I have uh, nine. I paid $6 for nine. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Because I've been purchasing these online before and they were more expensive than this when I bought mine some years back. So the two onions and I also got two more of the potatoes. So we are going to have onions and potatoes and asparagus. And let me show you all, the asparagus is still growing very good. Okay, there is one right there. There are a couple of more growing right there. Those are gonna be some skinny ones, look like. So I probably just let those just grow up and turn to ferns. I won't eat the little tiny ones. Okay, I eat them when they're that size. When they're coming up and they're coming up that large, then I eat them. But they are just bursting up all over the place. There are some right there. Those two right there, bursting out of the soil together. And there's one. And then we have some right here that are begging me to eat them. Then we have some more over here. So yeah, we have asparagus. We have a meal now, that's, that's enough to go ahead and harvest and take inside to cook. I'll give them a few more days and then we will take those in. Okay, so let's see how many asparagus are in these packages. We're gonna see if they give it out three all the time or if that was just for a first go around, let's see. Oh yeah, I can see it. I can see them. I'm, I'm going to be very careful with this because I don't want to tear up my crowns. But, um, because it has a rubber band around it real tight. I say my rubber band. I always use these rubber bands for something. But they're kind of dusty, but there are three in there so that's very generous of them they're making sure that we have enough in case one doesn't germinate so yep i'm happy about that all right so i'm gonna go ahead and open the rest of them and i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna pop these in the soil although i know y'all saw me plant these the last time my hands gonna be good and dusty it's gonna make them look good and rusty but that's okay. We're gonna we're working in the garden. Hands not supposed to be looking all polished when you're working in the garden. 
Or your nails can be polished, but your hands gonna be ashy. All right, there's three. These seem like they're larger. So I can't say that I got my share of the asparagus that the family dollar had to offer. So there are three. So let's pop these in and then I'm gonna show you all some other things. Well, I guess I could go ahead and show you right now. They have pots in there also. And I want to try to see how these red pots, I have never had a red pot in the garden. I had some orange pots, but no red. So they had these red pots, so I got two of them. And they are $5 each. So one thing I want to put in here is I need a pot for my hellebore. I'm gonna plant this hellebore in here today. But first we're going to go and plant the asparagus. And I'm just gonna put it on time lapse while I plant these. So let's get started. Okay, y'all, the next thing I want to do is I want to pot up my hellebore. And I am going to put a hole, well, more than one hole. I need a couple of holes in this pot. And this pot is plastic, so let's see how this goes. First, I need to make sure that I got my drill going the right way. So let's see if we can get some holes in here without breaking my pot. I'm gonna try to go this way. That took a lot, but I did not want to put a lot of pressure on this pot, so I did not want to break it. So I'm gonna put another couple in there. So I think those three holes should be enough. And I'm going to go ahead and put some potting mix in here. And it's just a simple thing. I just wanted you all to be with me when I potted up this beautiful plant. And this is what my hellebore is looking like right now. And look, y'all, look how big this plant got. When I bought it, it probably did not have, uh, well, it was probably looking more like that without this. I don't want to break it. But this big piece just, I mean, it came from under there and it has grown so much. And I am just going to fill my pot. And I did bring out, oh, here it is. Here's my scoop. I bought my scoop out so that I can go ahead and do this faster. 
And I'm going to use this uh, Walmart potty mix. I had some um, Miracle Grow in the house that I could have bought out, but the food, y'all, this don't look that good. It really does not look good at all. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the Miracle Grow. Okay, so I got my potty mix, got my Miracle Grow, and I am just going to. Fill my container halfway full. All right, I'm gonna make a well in here. Y'all, look how beautiful this plant is. I know I haven't said it, but look. This is a beautiful plant. I love those colors. Okay, so now. Got a spider came to the party. Get out of there, get out of there. Okay, he's gone. Take that and sit it right in there like that. Perfect. And I'm just gonna fill it in. I'm losing some soil on the ground, but I'll get it. I most definitely will get this miracle grow off the ground. And I did not put any fertilizer in here because the miracle grow already has fertilizer in it. So I will feed this plant again later, but this Miracle Grow says it feeds up to six months. And I would just be using Miracle Grow for my flowers and shrubs. No, not for any of my food. Okay, so now I'm just gonna water this plant in and I did not bring my hose over here to this area. I'll get it. Okay, so my hellebore plant is planted. So I hope that you all have enjoyed this video today and that you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Go ahead and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.